I nearly broke my arm. And the mushroom still is doing fine. <laughs> Mushrooms are one of the greatest transformers in material on the planet. They're the primary recyclers. Mushrooms are breaking down dead organic matter and turning it into a mineral again. They're just this tiny little part of this huge organism that is called mycelium that lives underground. And the fact that they might be used for batteries or spaceships is something that I never would have thought of originally. They're probably from another planet. Right at the beginning, I was like, this can be an art material. And so I wanted to create the furniture out of it. Then became, I'll make a building out of this. Then it was like, I'll make a company out of this. What we're doing here is we're trying to figure out how we can get the mycelium to grow into new types of geometries so that the mycelium is going to grow stronger. You tell someone we grow mycelium and they are like, what? <laughs> what is that? Bill and his team are at the front lines of advancing our capacities for manufacturing with biology, having the mushrooms make metals and glasses. It's not a fantasy because I just know that it's true. And so it's more of like, how do you convince the world that it belongs with us? The proof is in the pudding. One of the tests that we do with the fungi is we subject it to some pretty hot flames. This color is actually so good that you can continue to eat it. The fungus material is self-extinguishing. This is a very desirable quality when we're trying to figure out their material qualities, we would put it under compression. So that's the kind of failure that you want in your house. Compared to something like cement, I think it exploded a little bit. It can localize a vibration and not create a catastrophic failure. You can create all these pockets in it so it allows it to float. That brick did not even try. The possibilities for what you might use mycelium for are scarily endless. Batteries, airplanes, trains, cars, shoes, your bed, bulletproof vests, kids' toys, certainly, houses, helmets, insulation, anything that's made out of wood now, your boat, making rocket ships, grow robots out of them that would be partially alive and biodegradable. You could say that the idea that you'd ever grow a cell phone from your garden clippings and a wood fungus is 200 years away. But technologies come true when people make them true. You saw something that has always been in our world, but nobody saw it before. There's days definitely you feel like this is not going nowhere. And some days it feels like this is amazing, everybody's supporting, and it's gonna go somewhere. Okay, baby, I'm going to work now. Everything that we produce now that we call agricultural waste is actually an incredible resource that mushrooms can grow on. We're past peak oil, so if we're going to replace our current materials with something, it's still going to have to hold up in some type of sustainable way. I think about this quite seriously now in terms of what these materials might do to show that we live in a world of plenty.